you can be aging without children for many reasons. You never ha could have them. You never wanted to have them. Your children are disabled, so they won't be able to look after you. Your children have died. Your children have moved to Australia. They're no longer nearby to help you. You don't like your children. You might be in a second marriage and perhaps those children don't like you. Uh, or you don't want to be a burden on your children. So there are so many reasons why you're going to be living alone somewhere in England and Great Britain. The auditions are immediately in front of us. So what I'm doing is actually inviting anybody with stories, situations, circumstances that relate to people who are aging alone because it's part of the whole jigsaw of loneliness and isolation and I'll collate this into a lovely, incredibly uh, diverse mixture of uh, stories, poetry, song. If anybody's a dancer and they want to dance me a lonely dance, then that would be wonderful. Um, music, choirs, I mean, anybody can come and uh, contribute to this show. And it gives them a feeling that they are being counted, that they are um, have a voice. So in York, because I got a grip on, because we got a grip on it, we started it in January 2016, and we've been going regularly every month at the Cross Keys Pub uh, on Goodrum Gate, the second Wednesday of the month starting uh, with two to four in the afternoon and then the following month, February, it'll be 5.30 to 7.30. So we meet for lunch, have an afternoon meeting, uh, meet for uh, evening in the evening and have dinner afterwards. So it's a kind of talk and social group. And because it's been going so strongly for the last two years, that's what's made it at the moment the strongest group in the country.